Hello there. Um, today I want to start this vlog off um, with just some inside information about uh, the Fiat 500. Ashley has a Fiat and it's a cute little car. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. Um, I think I even have a um, YouTube video about her little Fiat 500 taking a ride in it. So if I can link to that in the description. Um, but anyway, her, uh, she needed an oil change and her service engine soon light has been on. So, uh, she tried to take it to Valvoline and also tire discounters to get the oil changed. And she could only take it to the dealership and have them change the oil, the place where she actually bought the car from. So, uh, she was fortunate that they were running a special. So I think she only paid... $30 this morning for her oil change. However, they could not hook the car up at all to see why the service engine soon light is on. And uh, that's the inside scoop that I want to give you. When you buy these cars, uh, they don't tell you. You have to take it to a... Uh, there are only certain places that work on these uh, Fiat's uh, and you have to take it to those dealerships um, the dealership that we, uh, that she would need to take her car to is actually in the next town over and Kevin called them this morning and it was going to be like $120 just to, just to look at the car to see why the service engine soon light is on, not to fix anything. So $120 just to look at it. So right now Ashley doesn't have the money for that. So it will have to wait. Um, Ashley uh, does not mooch off of anyone. She pays for her own stuff. Uh, she does not get a free ride. Um, you know, this is her car. She picked it out. She pays the payments, the gas, everything for this car. Um, just like with her cat. She wanted a cat, so we made the deal. If you get the cat, you have to pay for all the stuff for the cat. So, um, as a matter of fact, now that I say that, I remember she needs to call, um, to get her cat some front line. So anyway, that will probably be about, run her about uh, $40, uh, because I know for for uh, Guido's front line, front line is flea and tick medicine, for Guido's front line, it is, um, uh, it was like $30, and that was at Walmart, so it looks like I'm, I'm holding him up right there. He's hilarious. Anyway, he's been snoring. So anyway, I just wanted to... Um, it, I'm not complaining because it's not my car. Um, I, I think it's a shame that you can't take it anywhere. Um, and I think it's a shame that you don't know these things when you buy them. But uh, it's a cute little car and it's nice. But it uh, just know that if you're interested in them, it's going to cost you uh, a bit of money anytime it needs repairs. I guess it's like... Um, Mercedes or Volvo or anything like that, you know, it's just you need it's something you need to know when you buy it I ran in tractor supply to see if they have the uh, front line Since Ashley's cat needs front line um, We called the vet where we go and they charge about $53 for the front line So he's gonna run in there and see how much it is in there and uh, She has put the money into our account from her account uh, that's what's nice about all going to the same bank. Um, we can transfer money uh, really easily from one account to another. Okay, he's coming back to the car. So, and he bought it. It was ten dollars cheaper than. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it was only forty-two thirty-nine at Tractor Supply versus the uh, vet where we go, and it was fifty-three. Oh my gosh! Well, she'll be thrilled that she saved some money. And I'll show you. This is how it looks for the cats. And I had one for Guido. I showed that the other day. And it was blue. And if I remember when we open it up, I think they get it tomorrow. I'll show you what it looks like um, inside the box and, and how you uh, put it on your pets if you don't know. Just left Meyer and Kevin's putting the groceries in the car and I'll show you what we got when we get home. 
We just left Meyer, and now we are going to Target. Uh, we always spend more than we think we were going to at, at Meyer. Not that it was bad. We, we spent $45, but Meyer has a lot of uh, uh, different varieties of food that they don't have at Kroger or Walmart. So it's nice to go in there every once in a while uh, just to, to check and, and see what's new. Um, and they did have Cokes. They weren't really on sale, but they weren't a bad price. And I needed some anyway, so we went ahead and bought a lot for me and for Ashley. So um, now we got a couple of gift cards for Christmas for Target. I think one was like 35 and one was 15 or 25 something like that so anyway we have a list of stuff to look for in target and uh we're gonna see what we can what we can find and i'll let you know if we find anything kevin's favorite store what? in the whole wild world they have a pug on a cab and then a pug um i guess salt and pepper shaker and then a cup and then this is like a cookie jar and a plate and a place mat is hilarious and then this one is clear with a little that one has a pug so cute a cookie jar that is so cute if guido was young i would get that We're going in Kohl's to see if we can get any good deals. I'm gonna look at everything. Kevin has a coupon on his phone for 15% off. I got this uh, silver command hook for this room and uh, one for the dining room for wreaths. And we don't ever, I've heard that some people have had uh, trouble uh, with the paint when they removed them, but we don't plan on removing these at all. Um, even if we ever decided to move, we would leave these up here. So this is the wreath that we bought at Garden Ridge. Yeah, I like that. Will it not set, I guess it won't set to where it covers that well, it, like lower? No, there's nothing Because remember the Christmas wreath, you could have put it high or low. No, because it had a hook on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could put a piece of string on it. Ribbon or something. It would look better. Okay, so Kevin attached a piece of yarn to the back of this wreath. So now he's gonna hang it back up and hook it to where we won't see that hook. This'll be the fun part. Is getting it hooked. Oh yeah. Yeah, much better. Much, much, much better. Probably centers it a little bit too. Yes, that is so pretty. I like that. $20, Garden Ridge. Very happy. And just in case you didn't watch our videos, we made all of this. Yeah, we made it all. Kevin made it all. <laughs> and now uh, we bought this uh, blanket. This is a heated throw, and we bought that at uh, Target for $30. What is that? Oh, plug. Oh. <laughs> Because it gets very cold out here where we remove the carpet. Uh, we wouldn't have it any other way. We love it. But it does get cold out here. And so we bought this throw. I was expecting a little bit bigger than that. Okay, so this is the nail polish station uh, that Ashley opened up on Christmas Eve in one of the videos. And um, we repacked it. We repacked it because when we removed it, it was cracked in two different places. And I'll show you where it was cracked. Um, this is also the box that I said I was glad Ashley wasn't home when it arrived because it told exactly what it was on the outside of the box. So, Merry Christmas. So uh, we, um, we were sad that when she opened it up, what, the next day? Yeah, within the day. Yeah. That it was cracked. And this is how it looks. And this is where it's cracked. Bad way. Yeah, you can, yeah. Okay. There and. This and. Cracked. And this was, how much did we pay for this? Like 30, $30. $30. 
and it's also cracked right here. I'll put my hand behind it so you can see. But for $30, I, I expect to, uh, what is this? I guess it's something, I don't know what it's like. Um, for $30, I don't expect to have any cracks in the product. So, we were going to, we packed it back up in the box, and we were going to send it back, and... I think it hangs. Oh, that's how it hangs to protect the wall. Yeah. Oh. Right. Yeah, it sticks. Up, it's sticking up like that, like it would. Yeah, and there's your screws. So Kevin, you contacted the company. Yeah, I, I, it's through Amazon. Is where we bought it from. So Amazon has a thing where you just contact the company if you want to return, and uh, they got back with me, asked me to send them pictures. I'm gonna make noise for that. They asked me to take pictures of the um, the damage and the box, and I, I think what they are going to do is they're going to file a claim um, against the shipper and say it was damaged in shipping, and they'll have to pay them back, I guess. I don't know. Um, but anyway, then they contacted me again and said, um, we can either give you a $15 credit, which is half of what we paid for it, or they can send me a new one. I said, send me a new one. I want another one. And I also asked them, what do I need to do to send this one back? And they said, don't worry about sending it back. We'll send you a new one out today. So we basically got the broken one, and we got the one that came in today, which looks different. Completely different. Yeah, well, I mean... That, I'm sure it's the same thing, but... I mean, this is literally the box for this one. There's no box inside of here. No, um, that, that and this, was it. This is the box for this one. So, and it's through the same company. So we're hoping that this one is not cracked. And that Ashley can actually use it. And I'm wondering, Ashley has a lot of lipsticks. I'm wondering if she might be able to set her lipsticks up on here too. I don't know. She'll just have to play around with it. I mean, it's packed exactly the same. This one actually looks like it's good. No cracks. And does it come with that other piece too? That's what I think. The bottom off I don't see any cracks. Oh yeah, that that looks good. That that one looks really good. And it's very wide. And once Ashley puts stuff in there, I know she doesn't have 96 bottles of nail polish. Uh, but once she puts some stuff in here, I'll show you where we hang it or where we uh, where we put it. Yeah, there's that. Uh, but see the outside of the box. It is a cute box. Like uh, polish station, um, but just like with the other one, if you wanted to keep a secret and send that in the mail, what you bought, then yeah, you best hope it comes when that person you want to give it to is not at home. Kevin, we've decided where we want it on the wall, and it's really one of the only places we could put it, because every wall in this bathroom is covered. I don't see that pin mark on the wall at all. So he made a mark, and now what are you going to do? Pre drill? Yeah. Dang on. Okay, there's steel behind there. <laughs> Seriously, I have no idea what's behind me. The only place on the wall we could put this. It's probably a nail right there. Well, move it down. Move it up. Can you, yeah, can you move go? Move it up right under the window. Yeah, go up one. Hey, this wall is not going to work. <laughs> Are you sure it's not because there's plaster behind there? No, I can drill through plaster. Dang. I must have ran a piece of something down that wall. You smell? You can smell the hot wood. Well, then we could move the whole thing uh, uh, to the left. It won't be uh, centered underneath that window, but if we don't have any other choice, then we... Could we put it on the cabinet? But then we have to take that cross off and leave ugly, 
Like we didn't not fit there because of that corner thing. Yeah, yeah, it's the corner. Move it to the left of the window. It's okay. Can we put it? No, right here. It just will be off center. The the only problem with this is I'm gonna have to literally. I was gonna move it over a whole board, like way over here. Uh -huh. yeah, That's change of okay. Change of plans. We cannot drill on this wall at all. That's nice to know. So we're going to actually put it right here. Um, I actually didn't necessarily want it here, but the only other place that we had to put it was if we took this cross down, which was here when we moved in, and put it up here. And she just did not like that at all. So now... Over here is good. Over here is good, and this should be plaster. So are you ready to drill into plaster? He actually broke his... Uh, what's that called? His drill bit... He actually broke his drill bit off in the wall, so he had to get another one. We're not going to use this on the back. Um, it's supposed to go like above, and I just think, Ashley and I both think that's tacky. If it had been clear, that would have looked really nice. That plastic. Are you going to try to leave it out and not get it tight? I'm going to do it by hand. Oh. Yeah, well, you don't want to get it too tight because it will crack. Um, it says it's glass, but it's not glass. It's like plastic. It's acrylic. A acrylic. So, um, it will uh, crack if you're not careful. And now I'm going to uh, let Ashley have some time in here to herself to figure out what she's going to fill this with. And then I'll come back and show you. Ashley's called me in the bathroom to show me what she's done. And I wish I had gotten a before of this because she straightened up the top of it a little bit. These two on my lip glosses just sat all around the, on the white, not contained. And they would fall over all the time and it would drive me nuts. So I moved them into three separate containers and I just put some perfumes up here and the hair products that are up here like the bobby pins and the and the other hair clips I moved them down here and I just organized this drawer a little bit I moved most of my palettes out of here the only thing in here now is my Victoria's Secret palettes the Vice palettes better than false lastage which I don't use that often because it clumps really easily because it doesn't dry all the, it's just weird um my brushes this is just a roll up um it just rolls up it's really convenient and easy then over here is the new storage container um all my nail polishes are sorted by brand opi finger paints simple colors wet mile maybelline um these are just a bunch of random ones i got in christmas sets then here are my um, NYX lipsticks, Urban Decay, just all of my lip products are up here. Um, the glosses, most of my glosses are over on the little white thing, but the ones that would fit, the ones that would stand up are there. Um, my mascara that I use every day, eyeliners, just some pencils. Um, the cream eyeliner that I use every day, I made sure was front and center because, like I said, I use it every day. Over here are my concealers, um, makeup removing pen, just stuff that I use a lot that looks like it's going to fall. Move it up there. Um, primers, eyebrow kit, high beam, um, bronzers and blushes. This is another palette, a Too Faced. Naked 1, 2, and 3 are all here. My Cargo um, Meet Me in Paris palette. And my blushes, two blushes and a bronzer are there. So that's my whole makeup collection. And I feel like I have a lot of makeup. I know I do. And so it's nice that it's all in one spot now pretty much. It is 10 o'clock and we've done a couple of reviews which will be up um, soon um, in the next few days I guess and we are actually going to watch the first episode of Elementary the new season I think. Uh, Sherlock. Sorry I get them confused because they're both Sherlock Holmes. We're gonna watch the first episode of Sherlock because it's the new season. What season are they in? Like three? Three. Season three. So um, I'm going to say goodnight uh, for Friday night.
just left Home Goods, and I actually bought my first Christmas present um, of the year, and it's for Andrew. <laughs> Andrew's easy to buy for. Andrew likes odd things, so when I see things um, that I think he might like, I have to pick them up, especially at a place like Home Goods, because if you see it in there, then you better get it and not go home and think about it, because it'll be gone when you go back. Um, so anyway, um, while we were in there, I used the restroom, and the lady next to me started talking on her cell phone. She was actually leaving someone a message, letting them know she works there, letting them know, uh, no, she actually is the one that checked us out. Oh, really? So it was kind of awkward. Yeah, she was letting the person on the phone in the message know that she didn't get her break until 3.30, and so as she's leaving the message, I needed to flush the toilet in my stall, but I didn't because I was trying to be courteous. Well, she flushed her toilet in the middle of her message. I think it's rude. I think it's extremely rude. Um, it's even worse when you got guys standing next to you with their cell phones out using the bathroom at your urinal. They use, how do they use their cell phone at a urinal? Holding it up with their shoulder or holding on to the phone with one hand and using the bathroom with the other. Yeah, I think See that, it all the time. I, I just I think it's rude. So you know, of course, once she flushed her toilet, then I flushed mine. You know, I felt like I could do it, but um, I just think it's rude um, in general to use the phone in a public restroom. And I've received phone calls before, and I have answered them, but I'll let them know. I will call you right back. Um, but I just. I think there are places where cell phones don't belong, and I think that's one of them. Um, I just think it's rude to use the bathroom and be on the phone. So, anyway, we are headed over to Hallmark, and normally I don't go to Hallmark this time of year, but I have a, my $10 um, certificate that I received in the mail. If you all follow my vlogs, um, I had saved enough points to go online, with, points with my little key fob card, and I'd saved enough points to go online and get a $10 certificate. So we're going to go in there and see if we can maybe find an ornament or something like that for $10 off. Believe it or not, I did not spend my $5 certificate at Hallmark. Or, I'm sorry, $10 certificate at Hallmark. I was hoping to get, um, is that a parking place right there? I was hoping to get an ornament, and they have absolutely zero ornaments in there. They have taken every one of those keepsake ornaments off the wall, so you can't get them on sale. They said they sold them all, didn't they? No, she said a guy came in, a distributor or something, and oh, wiped them out. Them okay. He took them all. So anyway, I did get a stocking stuffer, and now we are at Barnes & Noble to see if we can get any good deals here. Okay, we got two things in Barnes & Noble. Um, and of course, I lost the receipt as I'm talking. Uh, we spent $15.89 total. We bought a calendar that was $6.49. It had been $13. Both of the things we got were half off. And then we bought a advent calendar that I will show you. And it had been $17. And I got it for $8.50. So this is the calendar, and we're actually going to give this to Andrew. Uh, normally, I give them a calendar for Christmas every year, and for some reason this year, I just completely forgot. So we're actually going to take it to their house. So I wanted to show you um, what it looks like. It's really neat. On the bike, it shows um, the months, and you can see the there's a picture and then it gives little facts um, next to the pictures about the area and, and the attractions and then I bought this advent calendar that I mentioned and this is a Santa's workshop 3d pop-up advent calendar and I just think it looks really cool because it's actually like a house it's a three-dimensional pop-up advent calendar. It features Santa's Busy Workshop. It's beautifully illustrated with 24 windows to look for and open for Christmas. Um, 
So I think that's just really cool and I'm hoping that I can keep it for a long, long time. Huh. Um, earlier I mentioned that Ashley, uh, about Ashley's nail shelf, and we showed it to you, and the company did not want us to send it back, so they just sent us a new one. So we just stopped in Lowe's and bought this super glue, and we, Kevin is going to try to fix the cracked shelves on that other nail station so that Ashley could have two of them, and this is supposed to, to dry pretty fast. And Kevin uh, got a $25 gift card for Christmas, so this was $3.16 total, but uh, we didn't have to spend anything on it, so. Okay, we had a lot of luck in this Hallmark. Uh, they actually had their um, keepsake ornaments out, and they had a lot left to choose from. So I bought two, and unfortunately I can't show them to you because um, one is for um, Andrew and one is for Gavin. So um, you'll see them Christmas uh, 2014. Um, so not too long to wait, but we're getting ready to go to Andrew's house for a little while. We're gonna just drop off this calendar and visit with Gavin for a few minutes. So, um, um, I might show him in a minute. What are you doing? Because Christina, what is this long set here? Oh, that's what um, uh, Billy and Sue got him. Oh, does the giraffe go in the other? Yeah, it's really cute. Oh. He just likes to pull it out of there. That's oh. neat. Yeah. Hi, naked boy. Hi. <laughs> you can hear him, that raspy breathing. No. He's gorgeous. Yes, yeah. are you excited? Pick it, pick it. Okay. This, this is Gavin's little car. He's not big enough for a regular car, so they use the laundry basket. I think it's a great idea. I want to get some construction paper and put like little lights or something up here. Aww. You look so cute, Mr. Gavin. No, it's a Go back up. Beep, 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 beep. Um, I watch this woman on YouTube, and every time they back up in the van, she has to go beep, most of what I've done. beep, beep for her kid in the back seat. Most of what I do, I do without cheating. Gluing this thing back together. So it'll be able to just sit there until it dries? Yeah. You got mud on the floor. I did get mud on the floor. I need to, I'll have to wash this. It's muddy out back and Guido goes out back. I never come in here and look at the carpet. It's muddy. It's probably safer that you don't come in here. It won't be as pretty as the original, but it'll, it'll look okay. This is the Santa's Workshop, a 3D calendar that I showed you in the car. And so before I put it up, I would like to see, um, I'm curious what it looks like and how hard it's gonna be to put up and how sturdy it will be every year because we're pretty careful oh this is neat it's like a book and you just open it up that's, oh, that's really cool. cool yeah yeah oh i like that i'll probably have to sit something in the middle of it there to to keep it flat but if you take it and kind of bend it like push it like that ah well, no. Yeah, it just has to be. It's just out. been sitting so long. That is so cute. Here, you can take a virtual tour better than I can from over here. It's got a door. Yeah, and there's a door. Open that door, Kev. Uh, number two, the door. I was supposed to open those until Christmas. Oh, you don't want me to open any of them? I'll forget by, by this next Christmas. It's the bathroom. Excuse me, a window. Yeah, there's windows to open. There's a door here to open. This is the 24th door, and there's Santa's sleigh. Let's go the hallway back in here. You can look. If you get, you probably can't see it in the thing. But there's a hallway back behind this. Oh yeah, I might be able to see it if I turn it. Yeah, there's a hallway. Oh, that's really cute. 
I'll just have to set something on there to keep it flat for a little while. Yeah, or work it out. Yeah, I like that a lot. What does it look like on the back? Just the book? Okay, yeah, that's just the book part. No. Actually, you pulled it. Don't do. Don't pull it because you pull it apart. Yeah. But that's cute. I'm very, very happy with that. And then I also wanted to show you. Um, today, so I'll put that up in the attic. Today is the day that Chapel is due for his front line and Guido is due. And this is um, the flea and tick stuff that I was telling you about. And it's $30, $40 a box for each one. And uh, it comes in different um, uh, weights for your animals. This, the cat is for eight weeks and older, so that's any cat. But the dogs, it goes by weight. And Guido is right on the line. So the vet has told us to just go ahead and, and he's right at like 21 pounds. Uh, and really that's the maximum for the, the younger front line. So we go ahead and push him up. The vet said to go ahead. So this is what it looks like. I wanted to show you. You open it up. And it comes with the, I guess, caution paper. I never read that. <laughs> and uh, then this is the, you get, I bought the pack of three, but they make a pack of six. And uh, these are to put on your calendar so that you'll remember when it's due again. So I'll put one on today's date. And then uh, February 4th and then March 4th, I'll know March 4th, I'll actually put the blue one and then I'll know I need to buy a new one. And this one says dog because we'll go ahead and get these out. Uh, we go ahead and get them out and so this one, that one said dog and then this one, it's the exact same thing and it looks the same. But it says cat. So I will cut these, uh, you can bend them and they're kind of hard to get apart. So I usually use scissors, uh, but Guido and Chapel will get these tonight and uh, you just cut the tip of it off and then you put it right behind their neck and their fur and that's what keeps the fleas and ticks away. Okay, I don't know uh, who manufactured the different um, set of shelves. But this one is not uh, nearly uh, as well done as the other one that we received in the mail in the pink box. So I don't know the differences there, but one is better than the other. So anyway, Kevin has taped it and uh, it will probably stay this way until tomorrow. Honestly, the glue is probably already dry from earlier when I showed him doing that. Um, but he just want, would rather uh, be safe. Um, then have to, it crack or something like that. So anyway, um, it is evening now. So um, we've eaten dinner and Kevin ate his sandwich again and I had soup and creatures of habit, we are. Um, but we did good today. We went to Lexington, it's Saturday. Normally we would have eaten out and we made sure that we ate before we left the house and then uh, we ate at dinner time. So, so we did really, really well and, and um, so that's good. Uh, we saved some money and uh, saved some calories. So anyway, we'll probably just find a movie to watch or a TV show maybe that I've taped. I've taped a lot of Chopped episodes so we might watch one of those and so I will uh, see you later.